Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's honestly like comparing apples to oranges, or maybe kimchi to adobo. We're talking about what it's like being gay in South Korea versus the Philippines. Before diving in, hit that like button and subscribe to Asian Pride, because, let's be real, you're not gonna want to miss out on this tea. Okay, so first things first, let's set the scene. South Korea, land of K-pop, tech innovation, and skincare regimes that make everyone else look like a potato. The Philippines, on the other hand, is all about crystal clear beaches, incredible hospitality, and, well, Manny Pacquiao. Both have their highs and lows, but when it comes to LGBTQ plus rights and experiences, things are, let's say, different. South Korea, oh boy, where to start? This place is all about image, right? You got people rocking those designer brands and beauty standards that are more specific than a Starbucks order. But, when it comes to being openly gay, things get kinda hush-hush. Despite the rise of K-pop and the industry's flirty dance with androgyny, don't be fooled. The cultural landscape is still pretty conservative. Anti-discrimination laws? Yeah, forget about it. Not a thing. Now, don't get it twisted. No one's getting thrown in jail just for being gay, but the lack of legal protection is like walking on a tightrope with no safety net below. It's legal but not necessarily accepted, you feel me? And then there's the whole mandatory military service for men. Imagine being closeted and having to share such close quarters with other guys for nearly two years. Talk about a pressure cooker situation, and not in the fun instant pot way. Switch gears to the Philippines. This country is like the rebellious teenager of Southeast Asia when it comes to LGBTQ plus issues. While the nation is predominantly Catholic, it's surprisingly progressive in some ways. In fact, there are cities with ordinances against discrimination based on sexual orientation. Progress? Ah, oh, yes, please. But, don't start flying the rainbow flag just yet. Even though people might be more tolerant, or at least less vocal about their prejudices, the legal framework is lagging. Same-sex marriage? Not legally recognized. Adoption rights? Yeah, no. So, there's still a long way to go. And oh, by the way, if you're digging this content, do me a solid and click that like and subscribe button. You know you want to keep up with all the deep dives here at Asian Pride. Alright, so back to business. Let's talk about the media portrayal in both countries. In South Korea, gay characters in mainstream media are as rare as a good Wi-Fi connection on a subway. When they do appear, they're often either tragic figures or comic relief. The Philippines, on the other hand, is a bit better. There's representation, though it sometimes dips into stereotype territory. As for the social scene, both countries have their pockets of gay culture, but they're just that, pockets. I-10 win in Seoul is South Korea's so-called gay district, but it's still pretty underground. The Philippines? Well, let's just say Manila's gay bars are thriving but also discreet. Family acceptance is another hot topic. In South Korea, coming out to family often feels like walking into a lion's den wearing a meat suit. The Philippines is a mixed bag, 
Some families embrace their queer kids, while others still expect them to settle down in a traditional marriage. So, conclusion time. Being gay in South Korea and the Philippines is a complex tale of two countries. One leans conservative but is slowly facing its own reflections, while the other is more openly accepting but lacks the legal framework to back it up. And that's a wrap, folks. Do you have any experiences or insights to share? Drop them in the comments below. And if this video did something for you, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Asian Pride for more sizzling topics. Catch you later.